Let's make history. There's a strip of water which is sandwiched between Manhattan on the west side, Queens on the east side. In the middle, there's Roosevelt Island, a narrow strip. Then at the northern end of Roosevelt Island is known as Hellgate. This is an area where you have the East River, then you have the Harlem River coming down, meeting the East River, as well as the Long Island Sound, which is basically the Atlantic Ocean, all converging and meeting right in that spot, causing this world, this whirlpool, a very narrow passageway. And on top of that, that whole area is sprinkled with huge rocks, boulders, and reefs. Before the normalization of motorboats and ferries, Crossing even from Ward's Island to the Bronx was treacherous. The name was originally coined by Dutchman Adrian Block in 1614 when he crossed the strait for the first time. Between his time and the eventual construction of the Hellgate Bridge, little changed in the passage's aggressive contention. Many ships and lives were claimed by the passageway. In fact, even a Royal Navy ship, the Hussar, sank in the strait during the American Revolution with almost the entire Imperial Army's payroll still aboard. On average, 1,000 ships per year, which would sink in that area. And on average, for every 50 ships that passed through successfully, one of them would get severely damaged or even sink. There was a huge uh, ship on the East River in this area. It was called the Slocum, the General Slocum. There was a fire, got, the ship got damaged. There was a fire and it ended with a body count of 1,000 people who lost their lives. So this is a major issue. A little Hellgate, which is the spot where uh, Ward's Island and Randall's Island now converge again before water went right through there those islands were not connected they are connected now they were connected later down the line and then in addition to that on a side note this the narrow strip of water between uh ward's island and the bronx is called bronx kills in the 1800s there was a french engineer who attempted to fix the problem but the government didn't want to pay him sound familiar so private residents got together, wealthy private residents got together, took money out of their own pocket to pay this man 17,000 bucks. And so the process began. It took seven long years. And the process he used was he would lower dynamite onto each rock and blow the rock to pieces. Problem is some of those rocks out there in the, in the East River at the Hellgate was so sturdy or so huge that it would take several explosions just to destroy the rock. In the process, the engineer, it was a bad accident, people died, several people died, and the engineer himself became disabled. When the government looked and saw that he was indeed making progress and that he had been hurt so badly, they went ahead and shelled him out $20,000 and eventually the project got done. Then in the early 1900s, they made a Hellgate Bridge, which went from Astoria, Queens to Ward's Island. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Will Flores TV on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and X.